When we dive into the animated worlds of the real Ghostbusters and extreme Ghostbusters, it's like opening a time capsule of cultural and technological shifts that influenced how stories were told to different generations. The real Ghostbusters hit the screens in the mid-1980s, seizing the momentum of the original film and expanding its universe into the living rooms of an eager young audience. Its blend of comedy, supernatural adventure, and the iconic proton packs captured imaginations, creating a fervent fan base that holds the series dear for its pioneering spirit and its role in defining Saturday morning cartoons for many. Fast forward to the late 1990s, and Extreme Ghostbusters enters the scene with a fresh coat of paint, aiming to resonate with a new generation while nodding respectfully to its predecessor. This iteration introduced a more diverse team and tackled themes that reflected the evolving societal landscape, attempting to blend the nostalgia of the original team with the new dynamics of the time. Both series, with their distinct flavors, leave a mark on the Ghostbusters' legacy, appealing to different tastes and preferences. The real Ghostbusters is often celebrated for its faithfulness to the spirit of the original film and its role in cultivating a love for these characters and their adventures. Meanwhile, Extreme Ghostbusters is lauded for its efforts to update and diversify the franchise, making it relevant for a new era. As we look back on these two iterations of a beloved franchise, it sparks a conversation among fans and newcomers alike about which series resonates more with them. So I turn the question to you. Do you prefer the nostalgia and pioneering spirit of the real Ghostbusters, or does the 90s approach of extreme Ghostbusters speak more to you? Let me know in the comments below. Mm-hmm. <laughs>